Bellbox just released a new template called Dagger Toss. Let's take a look and see how it was built. If you like making and playing games with Buildbox, be sure to like and subscribe. Let's take a look at Dagger Toss to see how it's done. Looks cool. We got some rocks. Where's the character? I don't see a character. Do something like this. We got the tree stuff spinning around and then you just tap. And very cool. The graphics may be a little slower because I'm also recording at the same time. There's a game over. Simple gameplay. This mechanic was made pretty popular in 2019. Let's take a look at the pieces. What do we got here? We got multiple different shard pieces. Here's the character. Okay, so these purple nodes are custom. It's important to know the difference between a node that you can get on the sidebar over here or a custom node. The thing with custom nodes is you can take them and copy them and put them onto new templates, but you can't edit them unless you know how to code. We have if collide with enemy, if collide with trunk, and then we have a state machine that goes to glow, makes like some kind of hit action. And then this looks like it's moving. So this shoot, I think is when you press the screen, it will shoot the knife forward, fall, not sure what's going on here. You know, knowing how to code definitely is a big advantage. This is the trunk, okay? So this is a texture, and then this looks like some kind of cylinder mesh. Let's put this on again. But now I wanna look at it in debug mode. You can see more going on here. Each hit makes this center circle get smaller, and once it gets very small, then everything seems to explode. Okay, and then if you hit that piece, that root, looks like it's a root, is an enemy. It's not labeled as an enemy, but we saw what just happened. I'm curious to deconstruct this. This is a trunk, and once the trunk somehow gets destroyed, then we will see multiple shards come from it. Let's take a look and see if these shards are being called anywhere. Here's the root, okay. So here we got the trunk, and it looks like there's some branches. So these are the branches which are enemies. Yep, that's what we saw earlier. And these are also cool rocks, I think. I'm very curious on the collision shape, so I'm gonna select this icon up here. So we got leaves, select here. So here we can see the different collision shapes. It looks like these plants and rocks are mainly for aesthetic, which is always cool. I do find it difficult to find cool aesthetic items. They don't look like they have any kind of 3D object space, so not necessarily collidable. This looks like to be where the character comes from. Let's see if we can go into this. This is called Master, so let's look to the side, see where we can find Master, and it's right here. Okay, so we select Master. Master created standard node. Touch, this is a touch node, and then here we have the custom node, which is defeat and clean up. Okay, so that's not what I would have expected, but it looks like this monitors how the node objects disappear and registers if the player is defeated. Take a look at the trunk node. Okay, so it's a trunk. Each trunk has a health of six. And then this is cool. This is the health bar that we saw earlier. And then this is a custom node that does who knows what. It looks like spinning and the speed of the spin. Okay. When the trunk gets shattered, it looks like this custom node is called upon. And yeah, we got the ground node, pretty standard. Knife node, we took a look. Nothing going on in the root. And then these are just rocks with, oh, it looks like it does have a rock mesh, which is very cool. That's an inside look into Dagger Toss. A lot of custom pieces, very beautiful looking objects that I'll definitely use in my future games. Be sure to play around with this. I'm curious to test it on my phone. A lot of this is custom pieces. It shows the power of Buildbox. If you know how to code and write your own script, you can also create something like this in your own imaginative way. Until then, you're kind of stuck within the bounds of the nodes that are already written. And how those work will take a lot of play, learning, and 
just getting into it yourself. That was Dagger Toss. I really hope to see more of these cool, unique templates from BuildBox because it helps put together all the pieces of how someone can make a cool, complete game like this in BuildBox quickly. Until next time, if you like this video and stay to the end, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and if there's anything you would like to see, please let me know in the comments. Until next time, peace.